Welcome everybody here to our next webinar about uh, JFD Invest Trading and Investing Simplified. A warm welcome in the name of JFD Bank as well and in my name, of course. My name, Stefan Friedrichowski, as always, for those kind of uh, webinars. Today we have the 3rd of May 2019 and it's a good chance to talk about JFD Invest uh, once again. Yeah, the main topics today will be the highlights of last week. Uh, we talk about the top performer of uh, last week. And of course, um, we talk about uh, JFD Invest at all. So you will get a short introduction how to um, yeah, to to invest with JFD Invest, how you can use that kind of trading platform, because JFD Invest is something like a digital world management, uh, a little bit like social trading, because what you can do here is you can um, follow professional traders with their strategies and those trades are copied mirrored into your account if you like according to your personal preferences and finally as always we talk about my personal jfd invest account that is a good example of what you can achieve with uh, jfd invest you will see that i'm um close to plus 50% up to now uh, after seven months. So it's really a good chance uh, to see what's possible with uh, JFD Invest. And uh, since we have introduced a new strategy, I will show how to follow that one and how to allocate or reallocate a given portfolio. Uh, so you get a few additional steps here. Um, in order to see all the steps you may personally do as well if you follow JFD Invest. But first of all, as always, you know the procedure. I have to show our risk disclaimer as always because we talk about trading, we talk about investment, and that means finally everything what you do, you do on your own, uh, on your own responsibility, and that should be mentioned at least once during any webinar. Let me first start with what JFD Invest overall. And that's quite easy to, to give you a good example about that. Uh, if you just go to the JFD Bank um, homepage, then you will find something which is called investment, uh, investing, sorry. And there we have a button, JFD Invest as well. And if you press exactly that button, then you are already directly in JFD Invest, or at least uh, on the web page. We will do the next steps uh, in a few minutes. So, JFT Invest overall, yeah, it's um, a digital wealth management, as mentioned. And what you do, let me first di jump directly to the top five uh, performing strategies as shown in that table here. And there you can see that we are not talking about small single digit gross profits, no. We are talking about huge profits, returns up to 85% for the strategy Galileo, which is heading the uh, top performing uh, list here with 85%. And you see other strategies as well. And you may ask, hey, hey why I should not just go and jump into the best performing at all? Okay. It's a little bit about your own preferences. I mean, if you are just looking for return, exactly, then you go for Galileo, no question. But there are other things uh, if you invest into something which you have to take into account as well. So performance is one thing. Other things are drawdowns or even what's called equity balance deviation. That is the difference between your actual balance of your account and in if you have open trades, then there's a difference between equity and balance because your open trades might be um, in the minus or in the plus. And that means there is some equity balance deviation. And you can see here numbers like minus 23%, which means there have been at some point in time um, floating losses, that's the name, floating losses, uh, which have been at 23%. So, yeah, you can see there, uh, if you have 
uh, high returns, then there's risk involved as well. And that is summarized within already that um, table here. You see the last months here to date, um, even that is a fantastic number here. Year to date means since 1st of uh, January this year, already close to 20%. So that's really top performing strategies as you can see here. And all you have to do if you uh, want to, to be part of JFD Invest are the following four steps. So first thing is you open a JFD Invest profile and that you can simply do here with the sign up button. Opening a profile is only uh, something like a registration, it's no money involved. Uh, it's uh, just an email address and your password. And then you can get more details about uh, uh, strategies, as I will show in a minute. And next step, if you like, then you can open a JFD Invest account, which is a special account. Because um, what's special about that? Two things. One is that uh, that uh, trading account has a leverage of 1 to 100. Since you are following professional uh, traders, professional strategies, um, therefore you get the same conditions. The other thing, which is special, you cannot open um, manually any trade within that account. That means if you want to be invested long in Euro, US dollar, you cannot open that trade. The only thing you can do, and that's a good thing, you can follow exactly those strategies which are listed below. In order to do so, you have to connect your profile with the account. That's uh, just uh, one step. And then it's up to you to follow any uh, strategy. So that's all you have to do. And it's really quite simple. Before we do exactly the guest access, because that is something you can do anytime, um, let me show you the top performing strategy of uh, last week. And last week, the top performer has been Euro Dream, uh, which is a strategy uh, trading exclusively euro us dollar and you can see already in the small chart later we will have it a little bit uh, better uh, but that's just a summary you see the overall growth uh, over like more more or less exactly one year so in total a uh, strategy has earned more than 10 percent over the one year so you may think okay the other one have been much better but maybe yeah, that is something you would like to add to your portfolio as well. Because finally, if you go for JFD Invest, what you're doing is you act as a portfolio manager. And that means that you, you may even diversify your portfolio, not following just one strategy. No, you, you might follow um, a couple of strategies in order to be diversified and that is exactly what I do with my personal JFD Invest account. And therefore, you, you will see that I get finally a much more steady growth since I'm diversified um, according to different strategies. So that's a cool thing. But nevertheless, the strategy uh, has a profit of 1.6% last week. And you see other strategies are similar. So overall, it's... Uh, it's a good choice. Yeah, so that's the top performer. But now let's jump a little bit more directly into JFD Invest and that we can do by using the guest access. Also that step is something you can do anytime, wherever you are. And the good thing about that, wherever you are, the same um, is true for JFD Invest at all. So wherever you are, you have access to your JFD Invest account. Wherever you are, you can stop allocations. You can even um, um, change allocations. So wherever you are, you have full access and you can change what you would like to change. So now you can see that there are even more strategies. In total, we have 14. So there's a second page as well. Uh, the list is ordered account, according to return. But as I mentioned, return is not everything. Nevertheless, let me jump into the top performer here, um, 
Galileo, for example, is the top performing strategy. And what you can see here is the overall growth uh, since inception. And you can see that that uh, strategy has now about a one and a half year track record, which is really outstanding, uh, as you can see uh, within that graph. But we offer full transparency about any strategy. That means you get all the details you need to know for your your personal review process because i think um in order to have a good portfolio at jfd invest you you should compare your personal preferences with what you can see within the strategy so as I mentioned, that strategy has an excellent growth. And we can see equity balanced aviation 23%, which is not too high, I think. So overall, that's one thing I always do. I compare growth with equity balanced aviation. And here we have uh, close to a factor of four between those numbers, which is really excellent. That is a little bit like risk reward ratio, not the same definition, but something uh, similar to that. But we offer even more details. You can see that kind of equity balanced aviation over time. And you can see most of the time it's below 5%, but sometimes we have those spikes and even the uh, biggest spike has been 15 January 2019 in this case. So it's a question up to you, whether you like it or you say no that's too much so it's your personal decision and i cannot say something like that is good or bad no it's it's always a matter of what risk might be involved in your personal investment decisions you can see even more details like the monthly return table here and there has been within that history only one month with a negative number december last year and what you can see else is you can see the number of trades uh, some statistics about any strategy and you can see even what kind of instruments are traded and the special thing about strategy galileo is in this case it's trading two forex pairs euro us dollar and british pound us dollar and uh, strategy has executed over time now more than 300 trades so that means there are statistics behind so whatever you want as additional information you will find for any strategy and uh, same is true for any other strategy i would like to to have a view on um, the top performer of last uh, week as well which is on the second page uh, you would dream because uh, then we have a look to that as well and what you can see here is that uh, if i go for instruments you can see what i mentioned already strategy is trading exclusively euro us dollar only uh, in a quite cool manner although of course we have drawdowns within that strategy as well but that's for any trading um, now let me have a view on the details as well here because there you can find some additional details for your investment decision the maybe most important number is the minimum investment you uh, have to do if, if you like to follow that strategy in this case it's just 500 euros and then you can follow that strategy you can go for 1000 or even 10,000 whatever but that is a minimum number the other number which I would like to uh, have a view on is a performance fee okay there's a performance fee involved for any strategy which is 25% uh, and uh, that performance fee is according to high watermark which means we only have to pay fees if strategy is earning money and only in this case then um, we you have to pay that fee and that only if you reach new highs so that's a good thing about high watermark because i think that's quite fair to have that as i mentioned i would like to show you my personal jfd investor account then you can see uh, where i am personally invested and you can see what you may achieve with uh, jfd invest and 
what you can see here is, is my balance of that account. Um, that account has started at the very beginning of JFD Invest last year, September. Strategies itself are much older, or at least uh, um, most of them are older than September, but in September we launched uh, JFD Invest. And there I started a, a JFD Invest account with 10K. And you can see what I have achieved over the last seven months. So. Overall gross net is close to 4,000 euros. Gross profit is even higher, okay, um, 45. Then the difference is exactly the performance fee. But anyhow, uh, if you can see where I'm allocated or invested as we speak, you can see the following five strategies. And as I mentioned, I want to talk a little bit more detail about the new strategy, Gold Rush, and I will later um, show you the steps how to invest into uh, a new strategy. Let's first have a view of my unallocated money, and you see, oh, 176 euros. Since I know that this is not enough for the new strategy, we have to change allocation. And that is a step I do first because it always takes a minute um, before I can reallocate the money uh, again. And in this case, I want to step out of the strategy Archimedes. Reason for exactly going for that strategy um, to deallocate that strategy is because there are no open trades. So I have no floating losses. So that strategy is perfect um, to be stopped right now. So that's all you have to do stop allocation and uh, you can you have to confirm that and uh, then that stopping process is um, now on the way so that is done i mentioned i want to talk about the new strategy gold rush let's go for gold rush because that strategy is new uh, so we want to have a view on that as well so that's the overall growth for, yeah, it's not one year, it's close to one year, and the strategy overall has earned uh, a little bit more than 10%. And you see much more ups and downs than, for example, for Galileo, um, but a little bit more straight than Eurodream, for example, but it's a totally different strategy. And those, this kind of strategy is not acting in a way that it uh, that it is doing any what I call rebuys. So we have a few strategies which do rebuys in case of losses, and this strategy is acting totally different. This strategy is um, opening trades at the beginning of a day and closing the trades at the end of the day before uh, swap costs. That's all. But what trades are opened. So the analysis behind is done in a way that we use for statistical edges. That means we look what kind of symbol is maybe good for long and which one for short. And we do that step even for the different days of the week. And that's, by the way, the reason for the name. Because originally, the strategy um, Gold Rush uh, is a strategy just trading gold. And the observation over a long history has been that if you invest on Friday, it's a good day. So Friday is a long day for gold. But maybe we have different symbols with different uh, but similar behavior. OK. If we have that way, then we can use exactly that statistical edge. And you can see, if I go here for instruments, that the list of traded instruments is huge. So we, ha we do that kind of analysis for statistical edges for any of those symbols you can see here within that list. And there's even a second page for that um, um, list here. And you see, that we have executed more than 800 trades. All the trades have stop loss. They don't have a target because they are closed at the end of the day before swap. Since I'm directly responsible for that strategy, I can show you all the details even more. So we can go directly for the uh, MT4 account of um, that strategy. And then you will see the strategy runs directly out of the control of an 
of expert advisors and you can see here the different symbols. You see that today we have opened five different trades and you see that all those trades have been opened one minute after midnight and they will be closed before swap. Um, so at the end of the day. Actually, we have a minus of 24 euros, but anyhow, uh, I know the strategy has earned 10% in less than one year. So I want to have that strategy being part of my overall portfolio because it's for me, it's a base strategy to have something like that within the portfolio. Let's go for that. That means all we have to do is we have to press the button follow and you can see how easy it is and that you 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 do that kind of allocation process here and once again i repeat myself you can do that step wherever you are even on vacation you can do it uh, on your cell phone if you like and now we can see okay we need a minimum investment sum of 2000 euro for that strategy that is available that's good uh we can have available 2500 so that's uh, good to know we can do an additional step which is called risk management let me accept that term and then i can explain what i can do here because what we can um, enable here is a stop out process automatically that means if that strategy would lose as with those numbers right now if that strategy would lose 10 percent it would be automatically stopped out of my portfolio which is good if you like it. I mean, if you can, once again, you can um, use your own preferences in order to control your investment. And in this case, it would be 10% and strategy, all trades would be closed and uh, no new trade would be opened. So 10% um, in this case is too less for me. I go for 50%. So if I would lose with that strategy 1,000, uh, Euro uh, strategy would automatically be stopped out here. So I have to accept all the terms and conditions and you can see once again the performance fee and I follow Goat Rush. And that was all. That will have been all the steps you need to do in order to, to um, be part of a new strategy and now we are part of gold rush as well so if i go back to my allocation table here now we see gold rush as a new strategy here um totally investment sum up to now is eleven thousand. i follow in total five strategies and those are the one i have in my portfolio let me jump back to the overall performance um because that is um, something I want to show a little bit more here. So you see a quite steady growth over time, um, really small drawdowns. It's a good thing at JFD Invest, what you can do, you can investigate your JFD Invest account, your portfolio of following different strategies in exactly the same manner than any strategy itself so the only thing you have to do is you press a button you performance analysis and that's all you have to do and now you get the same picture like if you have for any strategy so you have the growth over time you have for example equity balance deviation and you can see that over the last uh, months uh, we have some higher equity balance deviations and the reason is mainly due to the strategy hyperion because there we have floating losses but overall it's still below 10 percent what we have so earning 45% gross profit here uh, with a, a equity balance deviation of less than 10% is a really quite good result. And that can be, can be achieved by exactly um, that kind of diversification. You can see again my personal uh, monthly return table and you can see that I have executed not personally but by following the different strategies up to now 2800 uh, trades so we're close to 3000 um, and what you can see else you can see the open trades as we speak and uh, it's more or less live what we can see here and that's what I mentioned we have floating losses um, 
at the moment with the strategy Hyperion. Uh, but anyhow, uh, let's see when that will be recovered and uh, then hopefully everything goes north again. Going north means we can even show here the equity and balance in the same graph. So overall, you see that I have exactly those floating losses. Therefore, we have that um, kind of, of um, behavior. Balance is still going uh, north, equity now being flat. Um, but you have access to all details wherever you are and whenever you want to see those kind of um, information overall traded instruments yeah it's a long list now uh, because following um, different strategies right now or in the most time we follow uh, five strategies simultaneously and you can see overall if you look to the profit and loss for each uh, individual symbol there has been just one symbol with losses uh, all the others have been um, profitable trades at least uh, if you sum them up. Huge diversification. Anyhow, the most of the trades are uh, executed on British pound, US dollar, uh, but that is a par, uh, because of uh, what kind of strategies I'm following. And uh, therefore, we have that symbol a little bit more pronounced within our portfolio. Nevertheless, performance, I think, is brilliant. And that is exactly what you can achieve with JFD Invest as well. If you do similar steps, but maybe you use different parameters for your risk allocation, different um, selections of strategies, it's up to you to um, build up your own portfolio. If you like, you can do similar steps like I do, just uh, listening to my webinars, and then you can do exactly the same steps uh, as I do. But that's what you can achieve, and I think hmm, earning more net than three and a half thousand in seven months uh, with a 10k account, uh, that's a good uh, result, at least. Um, uh, that is my opinion. So that's for now. I uh, hope you enjoyed. You have all the details. If you are missing anything, just send me an email. Uh, please do not hesitate uh, to either ask me or um, personally, so at s.friedrichowski at jfdbank.com or you send an email to support at jfdbank.com and uh, we will help you, uh, definitely. So enjoy your time. Um, we are close to the weekend. Enjoy the weekend and see you next week. Bye-bye.